Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the linear function. A linear function is defined by f of x is equal to ax plus b, where a and b are real numbers with a and f of x are not equal to zero. So that is our condition. The highest exponent of x is 1. So in linear function, our degree is 1. Exponent is also known as degree. The equation of linear function is usually written as f of x is equal to mx plus b or y is equal to mx plus b f of x can be replaced to y or the function of x is equal to mx plus b remember if a is equal to zero then we get function of x or f of x is equal to b which is called the constant function that can be f of x is equal to 5 or y is equal to 10 that is the constant function. If a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0, then we get f of x is equal to x, which is called the identity function. Okay? So those are the terms or the definition that you need to learn in the linear function. Now, for our application, determine if the given function is a linear function. If it is, if it is a function, determine the slope, our m, and the y-intercept, our b. So, f of x is equal to mx plus b. m is our slope, b is our y intercept now let's go to solve number one two and three for number one f of x is equal to 2x plus one first step check the exponent or the degree okay so our degree is one that is our condition the exponent or the highest exponent is 1. Therefore, number 1 is a function. Now, determine the m, this loop, and the y-intercept. Our m is positive 2, and our b, b is positive 3. Okay. Next, number two, g of x is equal to negative x. So, it is also y is equal to negative x, function or not. Check the exponent. Okay. It, is, it has a degree of one, therefore number two is a function. Now, let us find the slope and the y-intercept. Our slope is negative 1. And our y-intercept is 0. Okay. So it's our identity function. Next, number 3. H. Oh, well, I'm sorry, this is not an identity function because a must be positive 1. Okay. Next, h of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 2. Check the exponent. We have a degree of 2. Therefore, it is not a function. Okay, we're done in numbers 1, 2, and 3. 
And now let us discuss the domain and range of linear function. The domain and range of a linear function. If function f is defined by f of x is equal to mx plus b, where m is not equal to zero, then the domain of the function and range of the function is the set of real numbers. So if our function or the linear function defined by f of x is equal to mx plus b, therefore our domain and range are the set of real numbers. To write, domain of the function is equal to x such that x is an element of real number. Range of a function is equal to f such that f, sorry, y such that y is an element of real numbers. We also have the linear equation. A linear equation is an equation with two variables which can be written in two forms. We have the standard form that is ax plus by is equal to c, where a, b, and c is the set of real numbers and a and b are not equal to zero. So in this case, a and b must not be equal to zero. And the slope intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b. This is our equation, wherein m and b, or the slope, and the y-intercept are the element of real numbers. Now, to further understand the linear equation, let's have to write the equation 3x minus 5y is equal to 10 in the form y is equal to mx plus b. Then determine m, which is the slope, and b, which is the y-intercept. So 3x minus 5y is equal to 10. Okay, we're going to write into y is equal to mx plus b. So negative 5y is equal to negative 3x plus 10. Move 3x on the right side. Now divide by negative 5. So this will be y is equal to negative divided by negative that will give us positive 3 over 5 copy x positive then divided by negative 5 negative 2. this will be our slope intercept form slope intercept form and our m is equal to 3 over 5 and b y intercept negative that's on how to find the slope and the y-intercept. And of course, transforming from standard form to slope-intercept form. And the dominant range of a linear function. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.